I couldn't help but notice that you redid every misstep. Yeah. I don't think I've ever in my entire life worked as hard as I just did to produce these, so I hope you enjoy them. Let's see if the coconut jelly is set perfectly. Michael G has started his flourless chocolate cake for his Nanaimo bar. He's ahead right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And he is compensating for his missteps with speed. I'm just looking for what to do next, try to keep moving. Okay, how's this looking? Andy's pats of crate just came out of the oven. It doesn't look good. I look at the tart that it almost looks just like a flat cookie. And frankly, I think I'm screwed. I don't think there's anything that I can do to come back from this. I just gave this competition to Mike G. My only strategy for this challenge is to just keep pushing no matter what. Come on, come on, come on. I have a little bit of the pastry dough left. I roll it out, put it back in the tart shell, and get it back in the oven. He is really working double time to get this challenge done. I got to admire him, though. When he knows it's not right, he takes a step back and fixes it. So right now, both home cooks are making their blueberry cloud. A blueberry cloud is a puree that has gelatin and then air incorporated. So it's light, fluffy, but it's just almost like a, a beautiful cloud. Both of them are using all their strength to aerate that mixture. I need to whisk like no tomorrow to make this happen. I'm exhausted watching them. Ah. They are feeling the heat right now. <laughs> God, my arm. Nice, guys. Oh, God, I'm tired. 10 minutes, you have 10 more minutes left. I don't want to see any missing element. I get that second tart shell out of the oven, and it's actually looking pretty good. That looks a lot better, Andy. Come on, get your custard in there and get it in the oven. At this point, I have 10 minutes left to bake this tart out, get it plated, and get it up there. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Andy's gonna have to leave his tart in the oven to the very last second. Come on. Andy's getting through this with sheer, brute determination. You got this, Andy, you can do it. I don't know. There is not a second to spare, not minutes, not a second. I am moving faster than I've ever moved in this kitchen and in my life. Michael G is having a hard time removing his coconut milk jelly out of the mold. I don't know how to get the jelly out in a perfect square other than try and pull it out from the actual form itself and maybe we'll fry this sucker out, keeping its shape. Looks great, Michael. There are so many elements that they need to cut, assemble, and dress on plates before they can present the three classic Canadian desserts. I am plating the blueberry jam that goes on the bottom of the blueberry grunt. There's a lot of juice and liquid left in it, and I know it's not exact, but it's something, so I just get it on the plate in order to finish the rest of the plating. It's all good. I'm most worried about my tart. I think that my filling might not be entirely set. I'm worried that when the judges cut into it, my filling's gonna ooze out. Five minutes, you have five more minutes. Push, Mike, push. One of these home cooks is gonna find their way into the finale going head to head with Becky. If that doesn't motivate them, nothing will. Serve it in the tin if you have to. Just get it on the plate. A moment of truth right now. How is Andy gonna get that hot tart out of oh, that no. case? Thanks. Yes, good job, Andy. One minute, remember, all your desserts have to be on the blacktop. One minute. Let's come go, on, push, push, go, push, go, push, go, push, go, push. Get your meringue on, come on. It's, I can't, I can't. I have no time, and I don't have meringue right now. I don't know what you would call this, but it's not meringue. But there's nothing I can do at this point. I just put it on top of the butter tart and just hope for the best. Oh, oh no, Andy. It's not there. And he's struggling with his meringue. You know, I'm here to help him out. He's a very good friend of mine. Here you go, dude, here you go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Come on, guys. five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I don't even 
even know what to say. I feel that was a complete blur. I don't know if I've ever worked that hard in my entire life. They're not the most beautiful things I've ever plated, but they're probably the dishes I'm most proud of. I'm either going home or I'm going to the finale. Holy crap, I can't believe it. Well, that was incredible to watch. Now let's taste your desserts. Michael G, that was uh, quite the challenge. I think the hardest one in this competition. How do you feel about the Nanaimo bar? I think I got pretty close to perfection of replication. I, I feel good. I'm looking for a coconut jelly that really holds its integrity. When I cut into this, I want it to really stay on top of the flourless chocolate tort. And it does. Beautiful. Thank you, Chef. How does it taste? If the fig tart and the blueberry grunt are anything like the Nanaimo bar, you're in very good shape. The texture in the coconut jelly is perfect. The flourless chocolate tort is very rich, very deep in flavor. You really nailed it. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to try Andy's Nanaimo bar. All right, Andy. It's Jeff. I couldn't help but notice that you redid every misstep. Yeah. I don't think I've ever in my entire life worked as hard as I just did to produce these. So I hope you enjoy them. Let's see if the coconut jelly is set perfectly. It looks amazing. Good work. That's the best Nanaimo bar I've ever had. Amazing. Thank you, Chef. This is next level. As close as you get to replicating the Nanaimo bar that we showed you. So guys, we have a real horse race here. You guys are neck and neck. You have a fight ahead of you. A very big fight. My, 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 Michael. Outside this tart, this looks fantastic. I mean, that's almost a perfect replication. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. But this is the moment of truth, the cut. Well, the filling, it's a little wet. I'm just gonna check what the bottom is like. It's a tad underdone, would you say? It's a shame, because the sides here, that's perfect. I'm in trouble. That one simple mistake can send me home. It's that close of a competition. I'm, I'm, this is it. I just screwed up. Well, I must say, the flavor is there, okay? I can taste the rum, I can taste the figs, okay? So sometimes that's not easy to do, to get that right balance. The meringue, the ginger's there. It's not overpowering, good replication. Thank you, Chef. It's not the perfect butter tub, but overall, you did a very nice job. Thank you very much, Chef. With a replication, it has to look identical, and I know that this one doesn't look perfect, maybe more of a distant cousin. Andy, Ugh. tell me what went wrong. It was kind of the theme of the day. I had to do everything twice, so it was a sprint to the finish, but I'm just happy to have something up here. But are we gonna get a runny feeling? Like mine. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. Interesting. Wow, I am impressed. <laughs> Thank you. So am I. Let's see the bottom. Well, it's actually, it's actually not bad, okay? Maybe a little bit too thin. Let me taste it. You nailed it on the filling. Thanks, Chef. The flavor's all there. Nice caramelization on the sugar. It may not look good, but I must say, tastes very good. Thank you, Chef. I feel really confident about my blueberry grunt. I think it looks amazing. At first glance, it looks like you've got all the elements there. Let's give it a taste. The ultimate test. The cloud, I find not quite as light and airy as I think it could be. Your corn cake is decent. 
a tad on the dry side, I would say. The creme chantilly has a good flavor to it. The blueberry jam, fresh flavor. Overall, it looks quite beautiful. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Michael. Yep. Andy, time to try your blueberry grunt. Look, the obvious element here that failed to meet the mark is the jam, the consistency of it. Just needed a few more minutes to reduce. Yeah. It's all down to time. Your corn cake, I think, is about as perfect as it gets. Wow, thank you. The moisture and the density and the lightness of it is delicious. The blueberry cloud is probably one of the toughest, uniquest elements on this plate. Yes. You nailed it. It's not an exact replication, and it wasn't the prettiest, but there were some elements within this dish that you truly delivered. Thank you, Chef. Sadly, only one of you can advance to the MasterChef Canada finale. I want to win this so badly just to prove to myself, my family, that I deserve this. We felt we had to give it to the home cook whose flavor tempted us to come back for more. I worked so hard to get here, pushing myself every second. And that home cook is... Andy. Please come on up and get your chef's jacket. I did it. I fought tooth and nail and pushed to get here. I put on the chef's jacket and it just fits perfectly. I'm just so proud to have finally pushed myself to the limit. I don't think I've ever done it before. It feels like a dream come true. I can't, I can't believe it.